Before computers, before 60 songs in a row, before liners and before radio was unerringly predictable, there was 60s style Top 40 Radio. Formats conceived by radio people who, within a framework of intelligent flexibility, created boundaries that still left room for spontaneity. Hey, on the of the trash man on our survey tonight, rated number six, the surfing. Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that. The surfing bird. Okay. Professionals were allowed to make a few mistakes. <laughs> well, I flew that one again. Teach me to read these things. And right. hit a bunch of dynamite home runs. Yeah! You did it! Yeah! I don't know who's more excited, me or you. <laughs> The safe, minimalist, scientific dictates of most of today's programmers ensure there'll be no mistakes, and subsequently, no home runs either. There was no better example of a 60s radio success story than Detroit's WKNR, Keener 13. WKNR, WKNR, makes the weekend seem <laughs> The 29 shares Keener enjoyed were the result of a staff of talented pros who knew through both research and intuition what was right for the room. Top 40, like radio in general, was and always has been a copycat business. Stations in New York, Chicago, Detroit, Walla Walla, they all did their best to sound alike. Wonderful WQAM 77 WABC <laughs> WXYZ 68 St. Thomas CHLO The top 40 DJ style du jour was almost universally the puke, a forced style of hip frenzy that sounded amazingly like the process of regurgitating one's pepperoni before the vocal in the next song began. But there were no pukers at WKNR. Keener had some unique qualities in both its personalities and its overall station sound. Excitement reigned, and so too did appropriate shouting, laughing, storytelling, whispering, and whimsy. The creative bottom line was that by design, we didn't take ourselves too seriously. This can be confirmed by hearing the 24-hour cartoon that was Keener 13. This is WKNR, Keener 13. No other radio station can make that statement. It's happened again. Oh, I didn't believe myself. In fact, uh, it's unbelievable. We have another winner. Oh, I didn't believe myself. In fact, uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> My name is Louis Markowitz of Detroit. I am 75 years old. And I am a great-grandfather, also a $208 winner in WKNR Keener Cash Game. And how do you feel now, Mr. Markowitz? Shocked. The concert. Keener was there. Right now, WKNR's Bob Green about to introduce to this mob here at Olympia Stadium, the Beatles particularly quiet at the moment. It has not been throughout this afternoon and won't be starting in about 20 seconds from now. A cordon of Detroit's police lining the aisle here to bring the Beatles from their dressing room in back of Olympia. Bob attempted to get the crowd started down. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles are at Olympia. The Beatles in Detroit, a WKNR exclusive. Interviews backstage with the Fab Four and highlights from the Detroit performances. Monday at 6 and 10 p.m. only on Keener 13. Oh, yeah, and if anyone else says they talk to the Beatles. Rubbish. We've got Rubbish. nothing else to do Rubbish. then, fellas. Hey, TC. Yeah, by hey, you're going kind of fast down the street, man. Where are you going, anyway? <laughs> well, I'm going to my record dealer. Uh -huh. Record dealer, here I come. I get the picture. I see what you're doing. Yeah, well, you're yeah. going to your record dealer to buy that great album. That's right, oh, yeah. Come go along with me. They got the key to Golden Goodies album. We're gonna get us one. You said it, Teddy. Yeah. Get ready, Motor City. 
as the stars of Motown visit the Scott Regan Show. Do you have your, uh, your harmonica? Yes. All right. Are you, are you, you're, now, what are you going to teach me? Well, first, first of all, we've got to get the key. Say, ah! Let's do that. Say, W-K-N-R. Keener. Thirteen. Oh, you oh, got it. Oh, 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 <laughs> Stevie Wonder returns to Keener 13, and you'll be able to call and talk to Stevie tonight at 8. Part of the reason WKNR is... The Detroit Sound!